A molecule of silicon tetrachloride, SiCl4, is nonpolar. Instead of answering this one first, let's answer this first, because in the process of answering this, we are going to answer this. The four bonds in SiCl4 are identical, and the mo molecule has a tetrahedral structure. Well, SiCl4, well, we know this is very similar if you look on the periodic table. Here is silicon, and it is in the group with carbon. And now we remember what carbon does. Carbon forms four bonds. So indeed here, silicon is also going to form four bonds. So we write our silicon, chlorine, 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 chlorine. So what is this? Well, this indeed, just like with carbon, is the tetrahedral shape. So this is true. With the tetrahedral shape, all of the bonds are the same. It's all bonded to chlorine. There's no difference between these, even though I drew the picture, it may look like there's some differences. They're all the same kind of bond. It's entirely symmetrical molecule. So tetrahedral bonds are the same. And it's symmetrical. So by these rules, we know that indeed this is true. Now what about this? Now nonpolar. Nonpolar means it's a symmetrical molecule. And there's no dipole moment. So what do we mean by that? One trick that I use is to say, can I draw a line in this picture? that will separate completely the two halves of the molecule, the negative half and the positive half. Chlorine has a high electronegativity. So all these chlorines are slightly pulling harder on the electrons in the bond than is silicon, which is less electronegative and therefore is slightly positive. So notice the, the ends of this molecule are, are slightly negative, the middle is slightly positive, but there's no line I could draw, as you can see, that will completely separate the negatives from the positives, right? This central atom is just completely surrounded, symmetrically so, by the chlorine. So you can't get the dipole moment. You can't split it into halves, right? Polar would mean it would be asymmetrical and um, uh, asymmetrical, you could draw that line. So indeed, this is nonpolar. You'll probably remember that tetrahedral generally is nonpolar as well, whether it's carbon or silicon, uh, when the other attached atoms are the same. So this is indeed true. And, as you might expect, this is a CE, because this whole discussion we had before explains why it's nonpolar. Right? We can't really understand why it's nonpolar until we understand what's being discussed in this part.